up guys this is your boy Kiamis Rodolph Johnson here with another video as you can see we got my boy Lo here what's happening with you Lo? What's up, what's up? nice to see you there buddy I see y'all 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 been wanting more videos with Lo yeah, thanks, man. Again, thanks too, man. Your, boy, your boy is back you know what I mean uh, I'm gonna be uploading the video soon as well but Boy's back. No more working weekends. No more McCormick. You feel me? No more. No more. We out here. He Good. back to being five old low. We in the streets, boy. Look at. Ooh, we got this going on today. Let me clarify that. I'm not in the streets, but I'm outside. Yeah, we outside. We outside. We ain't in the streets yet, but we outside. That's yeah. That's a very good point. But well, I'll explain another video, I guess, what that means. But. <laughs> But as you can see, we working on the Mustang today. Not anything performance related. I know you guys want some of that. You'll get some of that in a little bit, but we are changing out his turn signals because they're, are they busting in trash? Ah, let me see how to put it. Yeah, they're trash. They keep falling out of the socket. Um, yeah, it's nothing I can do about it. Mm. If you got a Mustang S550, you had these dial dynamics, um, then you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, so. He's going ahead and switching to these, and these are what? What are these? Uh, Op Seven lighting turn signals. Uh, so it's, it's all in one. You got the turn signals, the daytime running lights. Um, okay. Yeah, and they're also sequential. So. All right, and as you can see, it's a whole plug and play setup. So that's cool. That's what we doing today. So as you can see, we are definitely pushing our problems to the side. What's ever. Matter of fact, not only even what's going on in our life, what's ever going on in your life, make sure you push that to the side and let's just have some fun, get some positive energy going. So right now, as you can see, he's just taking off all the pins and we've actually taken off, like I, we did a whole video with us taking off the front bumper and all that kind of stuff before. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let this ride. All right, so as you can see right here, now that we've got it off, the light that we're gonna be unplugging is this one right here. This is the whole turn signal. And it looks like we've got a bolt here. It looks like this one, this one, and that one. And it looks like it's the same ones that these were here. And I think that's a, it's a 930 second for these bolts here. But by the way, guys, before uh, this video is out, I promise you, you, I, we gonna get a rev from this car because there's no way I cannot I cannot have this car here and not get the cold start. Maybe you gonna blip it a little bit for me, buddy? Hey, because he you know he's got the dump exhaust on it. Uh, he's still stock headers. Stop playing with the boys. Still stock manifold. All that. Fun fact: there are actually a lot more bolts in here than we realized. Are you good? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, the fog light gotta come out first. Like this is the, this is the fog light right here, so it's hooked on to this light. So just pull that back. And uh, I mean, dang, is this other boot? Is it a clamp or something? Oh, you know what? Ah, I see. This is just a a cover, like a bracket. The actual light part that's coming out is inside of it. Oh, so the whole bracket has to come off. Yep, that's that Ford stuff. <laughs> Guys, this piece that keeps that in is a mother to get off. It's a lot of bolts. So it's a, it's a lot of bolts. It's a lot of bolts. I took out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. I probably could have took out less bolts. than that, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, it. Yeah, and it's and it's two pins, so just stay in there and get through it. <laughs> <laughs> but it is out now. That's the old one there. So how it's basically gonna fit in? Of course, if this is inside of that, that's the way the fog light is. So it goes right up there at the top. That's right. Put that in there like yonder. Yep. So that's how it's basically gonna sit in. Of course, you we gotta bolt everything down and get those zip ties off the bottom of it. But that's how, hold on, hold on one second. That's how everything fits in there. All right, so we're just testing them out real quick. 
Oh yeah, that looks good. Ooh, I like that. Okay, yeah, that's gonna look fire. <laughs> Let me turn the current signals on. Oh yeah, let, yeah, let's see that. Or, or at least like the hazards or something. Oh yeah, they're sequential. I didn't even know that. All right, and just like that, there we go. Yee! I like it, man. What do you guys think down in the comments? Let me know. Looks good. He obviously needs to wash the car. I don't mind that, but it looks good, man. All right, so now we're going to get under the car and check under here because evidently he's been hearing some kind of rattling. So he thinks that maybe there's a clamp that's loose on his exhaust. All right, so of course now under the car, those are the clamps we need to check there. I thought I was closer to it. Uh, uh, evidently, I thought the exhaust stopped here. It stops like basically like behind the tire. But as you can see, that's his dump exhaust. Comes right off the cats. But he actually put a muffler there just to make it a little bit more quieter. Told you guys I was gonna give you guys a cold start, and we got to start it anyway to figure out where it's coming from because we can't tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down right here so you guys can hear it. So we can't hear where it's coming from right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and give you guys a couple blips because I promise you guys. Go ahead, Joe. guys low is gone and it's actually the next day but i wanted to wait to show you guys this and to put it in the same video y'all know alex with the mr right he just got a new car wait till you see this oh man and it's got white wheels oh my gosh you guys know how much i love cars with white wheels look at that What's happening, buddy? <laughs> now, just just so you guys know, he still has the Evo MR, and it's um, getting built and all that kind of stuff. So this is basically uh, his daily till <laughs> the car comes back. That is so cool, man. Oh my gosh. Wow. IS 300, how many miles are 273,000 miles. Oh wait, excuse me, 237, I think I just said 73, I'm dyslexic, <laughs> 237,000 miles, but you said what? Wow, two grand. I mean, it's a car with 200,000 miles on it, I know that this is a car you low-key always wanted, that is so cool. Um, now he did tell me about some of the plans that he had for it because you know we just came from like seeing Donk Master and everything uh, at the time of this recording two days ago and while we we're on that two hour drive we did <laughs> of course we were doing a lot of talking so and that's two hours one way so we did a lot of talking so I already knew that he was getting this and I already know about what he wants to do later on so the mileage doesn't even matter I'll just go ahead and say that and I'm gonna leave it at that but that is really cool. What color is this? Oh, it's wrapped. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So, I mean, I'm not gonna undo your wrap, but is it is it black under? Well, hold up, hold up. Here's the way to tell, because oh, it's yellow. Okay. See, I was curious what it what it was, because I've I've only seen these in gray and black, and I never got a chance to see them in any other color. Gray, black, yellow, red, blue, 
Yeah, but I've never seen any of the other colors. I've only seen it in, no, I lied. I did see a blue one before. Um, but I've only seen them in blue, gray, and black. I've never seen them in any of the other colors. That's really cool. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, oh my gosh. Now, can we pop the hood? I, I, these came with a iron block, if I'm not mistaken. Try and get it. Where the, where the sweet spot? Sweet spot is here. Yep, found it. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, that's, that's another way to think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. So it's an NA, NA2J. So this would be the 2J. I mean, I, I could be wrong. This is off the top of my head, but I think it's called the 2JZ. Like. 2JZ. 2JZ. GE. There we go. The GE motor. It said bone stock. Oh my gosh, man. But this is nah, this is cool to see. Cause I've I've also never seen one unmolested. All the ones that I've seen. They've been they've been at like car shows and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, they've got like crazy turbo kits and all that. So that that's eventually, yeah, but right now, for the next few years, this will be with daily. Yeah. That is cool, man. Well, we can go ahead and close this heavy ass thing. Ugh, I ain't gotta go to the gym today. Okay, all right, it didn't close. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Typical box issues. It, it, it's not, it's not closing up. So I'm gonna go get some WD-40 to spray that down real fast. Oh, uh, he's letting me sit in it. The best for a car. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this is cool. I'm gonna close the door real quick just so that that sound isn't gonna keep going off. This is cool, man. Oh, I like that, how you've got, the, oh wow, it's an MPG. <laughs> and the battery, yeah. That's cool. Almost, it's, it's, it's almost like the FRS one. Like it really reminds me of the FRS, except um, for those that, of course, know the RPM gauge is actually here, and then your mile an hour and your kilometers per hour is actually on the left side. So, but sure, what's his first set of uh, paddle shifters? Is these are your downshift and button on the back of it? What? Yeah. Oh, so that, you want to know what's crazy? Just be just from getting in the car, I'm used to grabbing it like this, and I felt like the little bump on the back, but I just thought it was I just thought it was a part of the steering wheel. But that is. Wow, so you, you shift up with the back and you shift down with the front. That is interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video here, but before I close it out, like this, Alex, you are yet another testament of somebody that says they want something and they go out and they do what they need to to get it. And that is really cool, man. I keep telling y'all, anybody can do it. It's, he's he is a very special person, okay? He is a great person. We all know Alex is a great person. But so far as like being human and having like superhuman powers or being blessed with like, ain't no, it's fine because I know there's people out there that's like this and that's totally fine. You know, your family got generational wealth. It's not like he was blessed with like a stupid, ridiculous amount of financial wealth. He's in the military and got military pay and was like I can do something with this and got him going to school and now they're paying for school so it's like I got a job and it's like all right stack money up and got this exactly man I'll see you though see right and the e and he has an evil MR like you you get what I'm saying man anything is possible so long as you put forth the effort I I don't know if I've said it on YouTube necessarily but I've definitely said it on my Instagram and when I'm live and stuff like that if you work hard and pray and stay faithful God gonna meet you halfway or even if you're not Christian God knows some of you aren't um whoever you believe in they're gonna meet you halfway the universe gonna meet you halfway I believe in God so I'm saying God I'm just I'm just you know y'all know how I feel about that but yeah like they're gonna meet you halfway and that's all this is everything that has ever happened to me, I put in 50% of the work, and right when I feel like I just don't know where the rest of it's gonna come from, boom, he meets me halfway. And that's 
all you need, man. Just stay faithful and keep working hard. And he's obviously a, t a testament to it. If not just me and Lo and some of the other people you see on the channel, this is another example. And that is extremely dope. <laughs> But that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Make sure you get the merch. Merch link is down in the description below. And as always, God, you stay classy, stay positive, and have a good day.